Hey everybody, it's time for another Mini Mondays, and today I'm going to be talking about the animated short Black Fly. Now this was originally a song written in 1949 by Wade Hemsworth, and it's actually a Canadian folk song. And then it was animated by the National Film Board of Canada in 1991, and then it was nominated for Best Animated Short in 1992 at the Academy Awards. So anyway, this little short is about uh, the, the singer, Wade Hemsworth pretty much, who goes to North Ontario, Ohio, no. He goes to North Ontario to work with a survey team to see if they can build a dam in the Little Abitibi River, and he's constantly attacked by the black flies, which are indigenous to the region, and they're horrible, terrible insects that will bite the crap out of you. Uh, so basically like mosquitoes on steroids. Now, I really like the animation on this short because it's super fast, like really fast, especially for something from 1991. It's just shit's happening all the time and I love the way it, it definitely looks like all the action is just going frame by frame and that all these hands work with it. It's hard to explain, I just, I really have a passion for that type of animation where it's really fast but you can really feel every hand in it. You know, it's not like a, a Flash cartoon where it's just like, oh yeah, whatever. You just, you feel the work in it. So if nothing else, I appreciate it for the animation. I just have to say, it's one of the most Canadian things you'd ever see. Now, obviously, I'm sure you guys know by now that I am Canadian. I have been my entire life. And I guess maybe I like it a little bit more than most other people would because of how, like, really Canadian it is. And I don't mean, like, fiercely patriotic. I mean, like, really, really insulting to the country that it's that it was composed from it's just ooh, it, it really doesn't like talking about the indigenous black flies and that's not really Canada's fault but it's just one of the lines in the song is that he'll never go back to North Ontario because of the black flies and it's like uh are you trying to promote tourism or insult Canada it's it's funny how the National Film Board of Canada would promote a film like that that's basically insulting uh, their country but anyway I wanted to talk about this one specifically because Oh, well, maybe I was just feeling in a little bit of an open mood, but this was actually one of my childhood terrors as a kid. I loved the short. I would watch it all the time, and yet when I got to the credits, ooh, I would just pause it and go, skip to the next thing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what it is, but it's not it's not scary. That's the thing. It to me it was a childhood error. There really isn't much scary about it, but it's pretty much this skeleton doing a tap dance and to the, to the music, and every time that tap dancing, it scared the shit out of me, and then it would show a skeleton tap dancing to it. So basically, this, this to me, as a kid, this guy was eaten to death, and he's tap dancing about it. So, like I said, it's a childhood terror. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it still, it still makes me uncomfortable a little bit. And when I was a kid, yeah, I would just fast forward right through that shit. I couldn't stand it. It terrified me. So anyway, if you're Canadian, you probably know about this already and maybe have checked it out, maybe you haven't, but I'd say even if you're not Canadian, check it out. It's like, I, I, the animation quality alone is really good. Yeah, it's not the cleanest animation out there, but you really can feel all the hard work that went into it. And I think that's something to appreciate if you love animation as much as I do. And it's short too, so, you know, gauge whether or not it's worth your time. And that's all I have to say about that.